Senefero, the king who founded the 4th dynasty, ruled for at least two decades, constructed three massive pyramids, and the one who left the blueprint of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Who was King Senefero, and why he is called the father of Egyptian pyramids? I am Maui, and this is Kimtology. Around 2600 BC, Senefero ascended the throne of Egypt after marrying Princess Heteperis, the daughter of King Huni, who was the last king of the Third Dynasty. Senefero became the founder and the first king of the Fourth Dynasty. Senefero fathered famous figures in Egyptian history, such as Khufu, his successor, Prince Rahutip, high priest of Heliopolis. Another son of Senefru was Prince and Vizier Ankaf. Ankaf was the architect at the site of the Great Pyramid of Giza and the possible architect of Khafre's Pyramid and the Great Sphinx at Giza. Senefru's eldest son was Nefermai, his vizier, architect, and the mastermind of his pyramid projects. The beginning was at Maidum Desert, where Senefru constructed a massive pyramid called the Pyramid of Maidum and the necropolis was created around the pyramid where his sons Rahotib and Nefermat were buried. But for some reason, Senefru abandoned Maidum and moved to a new place called Dashur. At Dashur, Senefru built another pyramid known today as the Bin Pyramid, which has got its odd shape due to maybe an architectural mistake. Again, Senefru moved his workforce north of the site to build a second pyramid at Dashur. And finally, Egyptians were able to create Egypt's first true pyramid, the Red Pyramid at Dashur, which later became the blueprint of Khufu's pyramid at Giza. Aside from a small cultic pyramid at Dashur, a small cultic pyramid called the Pyramid of Sila was constructed at modern-day Fayyum. This pyramid is one of a group of seven small step pyramids built across Egypt. These pyramids were built far from major cultic center and they all might be attributed to Senefro, making him the greatest pyramid builder of all time. Beside pyramid construction business, Senefro was famous for his military campaigns against ancient Nubia and Libya and his extensive effort of importing cedar wood from modern-day Lebanon. Cedar was used by Senefro in his Bin Pyramid to support its inner structure, and also cedar was used for the construction of a fleet consisting of 60 ships, including Egypt's first ship known by name, which was called the Praise of the Two Lands. The same material, cedar, was adopted by his son Khufu for creating the so-called solar boats. Senefro's legacy lived on for thousands of years after his death naming several places after him, dubbing him the Lord of Justice, commemorating him as a beneficent ruler of Egypt and the center of Egyptian literature and tales. <laughs>